Okay, welcome back. So, I think it's fair to say the honeymoon period appears to be over. We do now have, uh, after a period of relative peace, we have four separate enemy heroes on four separate enemy teams, uh, all approaching our starting two towns at the same time. So we've got Red with Steig, we've got Purple with Darkstorn. Both of these two, of course, have some dragons. Then we've got uh, Tan, who has Zydar, who's got one to four angels, plus some other stuff. And to the north, we have Green, who's very weak. Um, the problem with Green is they're just going to claim a bunch of our stuff, which we're going to have to go and claim back. So that's a bit of a problem, and I think the way we're going to have to deal with that is we're going to have to send Eovacius uh, straight back up in this direction, try and cross over here with Water Walk, which I'm a little bit nervous about, but I'm hoping the fact that we do have uh, we do have expert logistics, plus we have um, plus we have been to the stables earlier in the week. So I'm hoping with those two things combined, we can go for a massive water walk and get across to Tan um, to try and take our base back, which I'm pretty sure is going to be attacked, although we are going to at least attempt to reinforce it, because I think, I think we should give ourselves some kind of chance. If nothing else, we will be able to um, wear them down a bit. In particular, it would be good to shoot the enchanters, hopefully finish those off. Okay, so Eovacius does want to go in that direction, but the unfortunate thing about that is it means we can't go to the west and take these on, which would be a pretty tough fight. However, uh, would lead to a Seer's Hut, which I'm sure is going to be very good. There's also this spell scroll, which is guarded by 100 to 249 Sea Dogs. So I'm guessing that's going to be a level 5 spell. And I'm guessing, because this is, of course isn't a random map, that's going to be a specially designed spell. Um, I'm not sure what exactly, but could be Fly, could be Dimension Door. I'm, I imagine it's going to be something really good. Um, so a bit unfortunate to leave that behind, but we do have to be a bit careful to get back as soon as possible, I think, before uh, before they can steal our units from our Necropolis town. But we do have quite a few movement points. If we look at this, we could actually go all the way up to the Swarm of Earth Elementals up there. So we can afford to spare a few movement points, and we're going to use those to go to the Maleto Tower. Grab a bit of defense, grab a bit of attack, and should still have a fair amount left. Yeah, so we can see we can't push it too far, but we can go pretty safely in this direction. Um, I have done that a bit too soon, actually, because I did mean to send Torasar up. Which I'm still going to do. We're going to send Torasar up, and we're going to, I think, take one Enchanter. And I'm also seriously weighing up whether to take the Necklace of Swiftness. Which is because we could give that to someone else. Of course, Necklace of Swiftness is not really being used by Eurasius, Um, But wouldn't necessarily give it to Galthron either, because Galthron is using the Amulet of the Undertaker. So I think the one to give that to would probably be Solmere, although Solmere's got the Pendant of Courage. Speaking of which, we need to put this away because it's stopping luck from having an effect. Okay, so going back to Eurasius. Do we just take this thing off him? I think we probably do. The only other hero we could really give it to is Jeremy. But I'm not sure we're going to really seriously use Jeremy as a proper hero. Um, and this may be a bit indulgent, but I think it's worth kind of thinking long term for a sec. If we kind of look at the towns that we do have, and also worth looking at this. Kingdom Army Strength, we are in fact in the bottom half of players. Um, so can't get too cocky, of course our hero is probably the best, but our actual armies are not that great. So I think we have to kind of rejig things a bit, and I think the obvious thing to do is to try and get Galthran back to this base and start focusing him on Necropolis units. We want to get Soulmate across to Galthran too, so we can pass all these Necropolis units across. And then we need to find somewhere for Eovacius to go. And originally I thought I would give him some Rampart units, like Green Dragons, for example. The problem with doing that is, of course, Gold Dragons are immune to clone. So that's not necessarily a good idea. So I think really the best thing to do with the Evacious would actually be to try and build this town up before it gets attacked and to actually start giving him some Archangels and things because Archangels work extremely well with clone. Uh, for example, you can clone a stack of Archangels and both of those two clones can use the Resurrect ability as long as the main stack, the original stack, hasn't really used it. So you can effectively Effectively, you have a resurrection spell, even if you don't actually have a resurrection spell. So if we can actually build this town back, bring Evacious back here, and actually get things done with this, this could be a really big deal. So that's kind of the long-term goal. 
Do we want to spend our wood now? Not sure, because the other thing I'm thinking of is going back to this and um, saving up for, not saving up for, but saving up some gold, not overindulging, um, and trying to get the treasury. Because if we have 50,000 gold at the end of the week, as soon as we buy this, it's going to pay for itself with a 10% interest. And every week from then on, it's just pure profit. So that's really tempting. But the thing I didn't mention is that, of course, if we give all of Solmir's units over to Galtharan, we do need Solmir to um, have a, a force of his own. And I think he's the perfect choice for Rampart because Gold Dragons are also immune to Chain Lightning. So that could work really well. And speaking of Solmir, I think we're just going to go ahead and start things off with him. We're going to go for the Pandora's Box, which I'm pretty sure we can take on. Um, probably Vampire Lords alone could do it. But we're going to keep the keep the Bone Dragon split. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be yeah, the same stuff as before. Otherwise I wouldn't have gone for it. Okay, so Mass Slow is an option. Magic Herod does 138 points of damage, which is not going to kill these off. It comes pretty close, but not close enough, so I think we kind of have to... Kind of have to go for this, because otherwise they could get the Mass Haste. So yeah, it's kind of expensive, but hopefully worthwhile. Then we're going to wait. We will go for a block, just in case they do get morale. Uh, these things, I think, can just go straight forward. 32, I think, should be relatively safe, although we don't want them being attacked by every stack at once. So I think... Let's go to here. This stack can then reach us. But we do get our luck, so good thing we unequip that item. Then we wait with these. Trolls now can't reach us. We'll wait with these two, and these two, and these are now forced to move, so we'll send them down. And these down too. Okay, so rogues move up next. We can go for a double shot on... We can go for a full powered shot on this, or a double shot on these two stacks. Or on these two stacks. These two haven't moved yet, so let's go for those. Just in case they get morale, which fortunately they don't. Okay, so the one stack we're going to send after the Nomads, we do age them, which is partly what they're there for, but of course not that useful when it's such a weak stack. 5 to 10 kills if we go for these, or 24 to 46 if we go for these, so either way doesn't really make too much difference. These can probably take a hit, so let's go for the stronger stack. Then these get to move again, do the same thing again, that time we kill them off. Uh, then this stack, go for the stack of 6. We finish those off, we can send these across 11 to 20 kills, that should be enough. We do get the double damage, but we don't quite finish them off. Then we're going to send these after the big stack of rogues. Then can we go for a double attack, doesn't look like it. Okay, let's go for the strongest stack we can, which is this one. These guys come forward, but they're not strong enough to get a kill, and I think, yeah, ghost dragons are just about holding out. So let's just move them back just in case. Stack of 481 hit points. Should be plenty. Luck once again kicks in, and we can then finish these off. So the only real cost there is we did spend quite a few spell points. Uh, I will go for basic armor, and I'm still undecided on water magic. But I think we're going to skip that for now. We're going to focus on building up that gold income, just in case we do go for treasury. So it's plus two to attack and spell power, and knowledge, and for some reason plus three to defense. A bit of XP, a bit of treasure, uh, advanced navigation, expert navigation, and are we going to be forced? No, we're not going to be forced into a bad choice because we still have the option of upgrading armor. Okay, next up we have to take on a throng of troglodytes, which again should be fine, let's just go for it. No losses expected. So this is an alchemist lab. Which I always find a bit weird. The abandoned mine is inside inside the cave. Like some kind of drug lab. Okay, so Andal is going to go up to this, and we're going to search it because we don't mind what happens to his morale. So he gets the Seal of Sunset, which is uh, reduces opponent's spell power by 10%. So that's pretty good. Pretty sure you don't need the interference skill to make that work. That's good to know. Uh, Galthran is going to get onto the boat, but we need to make sure we leave him with enough movement points. How many do we have? We have a few more. 7,500 gold. Oh, wow, okay. I thought we could get away with that, but turns out we can't. 
Okay, that's a bummer, but we might as well use him to pick up as much as we can in that case. Uh, start moving this direction, and Andor. I guess we just pass that over. Seal of Sunset, although... Ring of Vitality, since we are going to have a bit of a skeleton power stack, maybe we don't bother. I'm not going to take the Cart of Ore because I think there's a good chance we get killed uh, if we do abandon this area. Okay, so Andor is going to go up to this. Going to grab that gold. And um, yeah, I'm not sure what to do with Galthran now. What I could have done, which was another screw up, I could have gone for Summon Boat. Um, but never mind. Just have to live with that one now. Okay, so next up, let's go for the rocks. Let's split these up some more. Okay, so turn loss is expected. That shouldn't happen. I could slow them just to be safe. Don't want them getting morale. Yeah, I'm just going to play it safe. And let's strengthen these. Okay, so the bless turns out to be pointless. This stack's going to wait too, and... Play with these two. Okay, so fight turns out to be very straightforward. We finish those off, and we've opened this up. Um, so Taurusar has the Enchanter, which is going to be passed over to, uh, to Galthran. The morale will suffer, but of course we just have them for the, the spell casting. So I think that's fine. Okay, so Solmir next, I think, will go to this. And then we do want the wood, I think. Could go to the lean-to, but faster just to go in this direction. We're not going to actually hire the archers, but we'll claim the, uh, claim the dwelling. Then we're going to take a step in this direction. We're going to, I think we can pick up at least one thing. So let's pick this up. Then let's go for this. Take on the energy elementals. Okay, a couple of losses expected. Let's see what we can do. So enchanters are not in the best position. But we can kill these off. Then we do get to move all of our stacks before they can move theirs. Make these as strong as we can. So stacks that have not yet moved. These two stacks can move away from these. So let's go for these ones. Okay, these go for Bless. Just gonna go to the corner. Of course, just trying to avoid going for an unnecessary clone. Um, that was a bit of a waste of time, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, next round begins. We go for this attack, and we go for this. And no spell points used, no losses, and two free firebirds. Which we will just add on like that. Okay, so Eovacious is out of movement points, so next thing to do is Loinus could be attacked by Zydar. Uh, I think we just send him onto the boat, hope he stays safe. Then Jeremy has to return to the Rampart Town because of these two approaching. Pretty sure we can fight them off, but have to be a bit careful. Uh, we've already picked up the Wood Elves from there. Already gone to the stables, so what else could we do? We could go to the, the Magic Spring, and we should have at least one more turn. So we could go to the Magic Spring, we could pick up the, the Green Dragons, uh, the Refugee Camp, I feel like that's less important because it's less likely to work out. Okay, we're going to see how that goes. We're going to send Rion back in this direction. And we're going to go back to this town. We are going to pick up the monastery. Then back in this town. I think we want to save our resources here. It's not that important we spend them. Then back in this town. I want to go blacksmith into city hall. Then back in this town, there's every chance this gets attacked, so should not go for any kind of building. I think 
we just end the turn there. So red has gone back in the monolith and is coming pretty close to all of this, but pretty sure they can't land. Uh, Tan actually doesn't attack us, but they do open all this stuff up, including a prison, which probably comes with some extra units. Okay, so green breaks through there too and attacks us, and it's Kismitra, so we've got to deal with Kismitra now as well. Wow, that was quick. Um, <laughs> what does she have? 120 crewmates, 87 pirates, 13 nicks. Okay, 32 ice elementals. And 15 spell power, enough to kill off those 12 whites very quickly, and we do lose Linus, and she lands there too. And purple lands there. Okay, so it's even worse than expected. We have to get across. So which one do we go for? Kismitra or Zydar? Of course, I think we have to kind of go for Kismitra. I'd rather fight her in the town, but she does already have a town, so she's not going to attack the town itself if she thinks we can hold her off. Our army is weaker than hers. Okay, this is going to be tough. There is the, the seer just there, which makes me think... We go for water walk. We can go to this, we are level 15. We will get some kind of reward. How far can we go? So we can actually go pretty far. We easily have enough movement points. But yeah, we do have to go for this, I think. Okay, so this one is plus 9 defense, not plus 10, but still, we'll take that. We we'll probably need it for this fight, so it's 33 defense, 33 attack. Bit nervous to take this fight, but I think we kind of have to. We'll probably take some losses. Okay, so a loss is expected, but... The AI doesn't scare me too much. We do have pretty much unlimited Earth Elementals. We can cast it several times. At least a dozen times. Uh, so we don't have the mass haste, we don't have the mass prayer, we do have teleport, we do have mass bless, we do of course have clone, but I think for now she's pretty slow and pretty unupgraded, so we're better off just hanging back. She is going to cast a spell, but let's just see what she does. Uh, so we probably want to protect the enchanters, but there's not much we can do if she casts a spell. Um, so let's just strengthen our best stack, which is these guys. Our stack of 22 should wait. Okay, magic mirror on those. These guys cast bloodlust on everything. Let's wait with them too. Okay, they're attacking the firebirds, which is fine because we only just picked those up. The cannon did quite a bit of damage, I think, and actually does kill off the enchanter. These guys get morale, but they can't get close enough. Okay, so if we were to go for haste, we could go across. Maybe that would make sense. We could also go for teleport though, which might be better. In fact, that feels like a clear choice. We should use these. So next round, the stormbirds do get to move before these. Can we reach the stormbirds? No, we can't. Firebirds can, but they're not strong enough. Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps we go for the Stormbirds instead. Of course, the other thing we can do is we can go for Clone as soon as we get across. But yeah, Stormbirds do get to move next. So we need to go for... Go for this. So we're going to go for Clone next round. No, this doesn't make sense. I've done this in the wrong order. Um, I should have attacked the Stormbirds this round, gone for Clone next round. Okay, let's go for this attack because the Retaliation is not actually that bad. Um, we do actually get Morale, so I have locked my way out. Probably will take a loss if we go for the attack on the Stormbirds, uh, but nothing else can reach. And yeah, I think we just need to finish these off before they can do too much damage. We do get lucky. Okay, we could send these across next, but... We would probably take a loss. Still might be worth doing. Although we do get quite a few turns in a row next round. 
I think I'll just go across. Okay, this stack next. So two kills if we go for this. I think we'll go for this stack instead. These could go for the block. But that doesn't actually help us too much. Actually, I think it does make sense because then we could focus the Nyx on these two stacks instead. So we're not going to attack. This is the start of the next round, so we're going to go for the clone. Then we're going to wait. This stack moves next. I think we probably go for the pirates. Although if we use something's retaliation, we can send the Nyx in. So hopefully we won't take a loss. 102 damage. So not far off, but we're okay. Okay, we're gonna buff these. So cure, that doesn't help us too much. He's got 37 kills on these, 16 kills on these, so it is enough to finish these off. However, these two move pretty soon. So I think we go for them. Buff these some more. Anti-magic, that's good. We still keep the rest of our buffs. Okay, so this stack, I think we're going to send... Send for the pirates, we could kill those off. I want my clans to attack this stack because that should be pretty safe. So let's go for... It's hard to tell. If I go for the crewmates, I could follow that up with one of these two stacks. Then the other stack can attack the Nyx. Then all the crewmates are gone, the Nyx are down to about half, and the range stacks are blocked. Maybe that's better. Pirates don't have melee penalty though. These guys did get cured, so they got most of their hit points back. I say we give this a try. Okay, 67 damage, so we're still alive for now. So we're going to do what I said, we're going to send these in to attack this stack. There's going to be no retaliation to worry about. Then we send these in for this stack, I guess. Although we could go for the next. But no, I think we go for these. Okay, now they get their turns, so they go for the clones. I spot on that. Go for the Master Genies, we take three losses there. Finish off the Firebirds, that's completely fine. Ah, but these get lucky, so we take two extra losses, and four losses to the cannon. Okay, that really sucked. Okay, so I think what we need to do now is we need to try and kill them off this round. So 12 kills if we go for this, I think we go for the stack we can actually finish. Okay, so we kill those off, and next up, these are anti-magic, so we can't buff them. Let's buff these instead. Frenzy. That does give us the means to kill off a stack of our choice. So the bulkiest stack is probably the Nyx. Not sure, actually. I'm not going to try and do maths. Um, I can always go for clone if I need to. I'm going to go for the Nyx. Okay, we kill off the next next stack to move. We don't really have much of a choice. Um, not much we can do. Best thing to do is probably just to try and protect these. Okay, so we can kill these off. These things... 35 health each, these 15 each. I think we have to attack the Sea Witches. So these have... A lot of hit points. I think we play it safe and oh we can't even clone them of course. Anti-magic stops us cloning them. Ah, that was my idea. Um okay, so Ice Bolt doesn't kill these off. Okay, that's so unfortunate. If I hadn't been anti-magicked, I could have stopped their fleeing. And I don't have blind. Earth Elementals will spawn too far away. Yeah, Ice Bolt's just not going to kill them off. All we can do is hope for morale, but that's... that's silly. Um, I think if we clone something else... I think that's not enough. I don't think they get their turn next, but I'm not 100% sure on that, so I'm going to try it. Okay, looks like it might work. However, 
they don't inherit the frenzy. Okay, we're gonna go for these. Then let's see. 24 to 30 kills. Okay, well I tried my best. She's gonna get to flee. That really sucks. Oh, that really sucks. We could have taken... Could have taken all her stuff. Oh, that's a... That's such a bummer. Um, okay, so... Is there a way we could hold Zydar off? The thing is, we took so many losses there, and... What do we actually gain? Nothing apart from... Safety. But if she had just gone to attack someone else, that would have been fine. Yeah, green is now really weak. Stuck with just sea serpents. Zydar's gonna be hard to... Fight off. I'm tempted to just get in the ship. If I get in the ship, I can go through the portal. Um... What else could we do? So I've already got summon boat, of course. We've already been to all of this stuff. We could take on the dwarves, but... I think we need vampire lords first. That might be worth a go. Do we have enough movement points to go there and get back? I think probably not. I think we shouldn't get too fancy. I will send Andal down. I'll take the vampires. We'll upgrade them, which does cost 7k, but obviously worth doing. Uh, we can upgrade these too. And upgrading pirates. Why not? Okay, so we go back down. Yathrim moves up. Gets the Vampire Lords. We should pass these back, perhaps. No, actually, it's fine. Okay, so we take these, we're going to go into the ship, and we're going to try to get back to the Necropolis base, which we still need to keep Eovacious around for one or two turns, I think. So we're going to go to this base, we're going to start building up the Mage Guild. Make sure it's actually worth him sticking around. That fight was such a bummer, that really could have gone differently. Okay, so next up, Sorma goes to this, then goes to this, then goes to this, then we break through the Leprechauns. Let's hope we get some good units back. They don't want to fight us, but this should be very easy XP, so we go for this, and we're going to open this up. So we free up Adela, who comes with 15 Diamond Golems. That's obviously a step down on 15 Nyx Warriors. They could be useful on Solmere. I think Adela herself, Water Magic, her Bless is really good, but like, she's never going to be a main. Okay, we're going to just pass these across. And let's just take a couple of relatively fast units. Guess we'll take this too, since Solm is not going to use it. Okay, so Adela we're going to send through here, I guess, because I don't really mind what happens to her, and I think there are some things here we can claim. I don't mind scouting this out. We could send Solmir through here too, but let's scout it with someone we care less about. Okay, so this possibly has no actual town, which would explain why it's fairly undefended. Okay, so that doesn't tell me too much, I don't think. Okay, so we've been to the Warehouse of Wood. Let's go to Monastery, I'm guessing. Yep, it is guarded. So it has been at least a week since they claimed it. Okay, so Jeremy next. Do we have enough movement points to go to the Dragon Cliffs and still get back? I suspect we do. We might need those dragons. So we've got two dragons, we've got... 36 elves. I would like the dragon. Let's see. So if we go for this, it uses up 1066 movement points. We have 1034 to get back to the base. I just don't think it's safe. I think we have to go back. 
Okay, so we're going to pick up some dendroids. Probably have to dismiss the vampires because the impact on our morale is just too much. I'm not sure. I hate to let them go. Can we put someone in a town? We could put Taurusar in a town. Um, so there is Stig there. Uh, so we do want to give the give the enchanter to Galthran. So in that case, we could stop off and do something else. We could go to the warehouse of gold before the end of the week. Let's go for that. Then Jeremy stays in place. Jeremy can go into the town, um, so we could pick up another hero and just send the send the vampires away. But for three vampires, probably not worth doing. Maybe upgraded dwarf cottage. We could use stronger units. Yeah, we're gonna let these go. Do of course want to go for the upgraded, uh, what's it called? Homestead? Pretty sure Darkstorm won't reach us this turn. So that part might be okay. Alright, so we've been pretty badly weakened. Good news is we can go for the Portal of Glory, which I think is worth doing, but it does pretty much rule out the, the treasury tactic. But still, absolutely worth doing. Um, I think, just to hedge our bets, we're going to go for Griffin Tower first. easily affordable. Then Solmer comes back in this direction. Uh, there is a Solmer there which we need to claim as soon as possible. Okay, so biggest threat has been dealt with but obviously this is not a great situation. Tan not coming to attack us does arrive to the south and that's pretty scary because Tan is a very strong player. Uh, there's also a purple hero moving around. Who is this? Okay, so it's Arlac. Fortunately, definitely not a main. Because, yeah, they have Archangels. Um, two players now have Crystal Dragons, which I'm hoping means they're fighting over the same land. But I kind of doubt it. Okay, so we've got Galthran, who's got a lot of movement points. Uh, there's a purple hero just down there, so we have to be a little bit careful, but it's probably safe. Do you want to see who they are? Thorgrim. Do we care enough to finish him off? I actually kind of don't. I want to focus on... Expansion. So if we were to stop off in this area, we could of course take the units from Solmere. Then what do we do with Solmere? Solmere can also get into a boat. Then he goes across to... This location perhaps. Although can he still land there? He's probably safe either way, so I think, yeah. We're going to try and go a bit more long-term focused. Could backfire. Um, this is another option. The University and the, uh, what's it called? Tunic of the Cyclops King, whatever it's called. The Armor of Wonder is still pretty good. Shrine of Magic Incantation, not really worth the moving points. Yeah, we're going to go to here. There is still a land to land on. Okay, we go for this. Solmate is just going to come straight in that direction. Uh, can he get in a ship? No, that's so unfortunate. He's so close. Um, what else could we do? We could try and buff him a bit. We might as well. First, we're going to send Adela to the south. Okay, that has been claimed. That sucks. Okay, we'll go for the obelisk next. I'm not quite sure what that is. Okay, so if Eovatius goes to finish this guy off, we could also open up the Swarm of Ogre Magi, connect the two towns. We can do that pretty much purely using Earth Elementals. And in the meantime, keep building this up. So we only have seven wood. It's day seven. So now's the time to go for Pool of Glory, of course. We don't have the castle, so the growth is not going to be amazing. But all three of our angels did survive, whereas... Pretty much all our Master Genies have died, which is really sad because they've served us incredibly well. Um, 
but we need to start thinking about a new power stack, and angels of course. You can't go too far wrong. Doesn't cost us any wood. It's so expensive, and I do love to go for the treasury. This does get us one extra angel, which is not much, but I think... Gotta play it safe. Gotta be sensible. So go for the city hall. Um, upgraded centaur stables, not really a priority. So I think mage guild level 3, what are we short on? Slightly short on sulfur. Let's see what we can do. Gonna go to this. So we need just a couple of sulfur, which should be pretty doable. We're doing fine for crystal, but we will need to spend that at some point on upgrading the dragon cliffs. I think... Let's go for this first. And I'm sure we can give up three. However, level three mage guild, of course, not really that important. Doesn't really tend to come with too much, but still. We're going to commit to try and get that as high as possible. Oh, there is uh, animate dead there, but we already have that, of course, on Galthran. Okay. Fine. So, Eovacious, I think... We don't bother going back for the spells just yet. We do go back and take on Zydar because, yeah, we need more units. Might as well stay productive in this part of the map. So, an easy win is expected. There are, in fact, four angels. So, angels cannot cross. I think we want the enchanters dead. He has got 44 spell points. And he's a sorcery specialist, so... Could do some damage. But yeah, magic arrow will kill these off. Okay, blinds the angels. Got bad morale, which is great. So our ballista is actually really strong now. This seems like the place to go. Okay, so goes to cross with everything. Their angels get to move pretty soon. We could slow them. That's probably safe. Other option would be to go for cure, perhaps. The spell. Clone. But clone comes in too late. Uh, we should at least see if we get haste. Prayer. Doesn't actually get us ahead. No, it does. Okay. In that case... We should be fine. Oh, Frenzy, I'm not sure about that. That's not necessarily a good thing. Okay, I don't really want to go for Clone. Okay, Bless. So we're guaranteed to kill these off, then the Royal Griffins move. I really don't want to go for expensive spells. Um, Ice Bolt is 6, whereas Slow is 5. But I think Ice Bolt is better in this situation. Doesn't quite kill them off, but that's fine. Okay, haste the Crusaders, so we'll probably lose another genie, I'm guessing. Yep. Okay, just about hanging on. These guys are now freed up. Okay, anti-magic again. That's not necessarily a good thing, as we've discovered. Okay, so we kill off Zydar, we do get to steal his Ring of Vitality, which is, um... Potentially very useful, if we can get the Vial of Lifeblood. Okay, so this fight with the Ogre Magi, I'm hoping is fully doable just with the help of, um... Earth Elementals. Yeah, so there are loads of them, but this is exactly the situation where we just throw in a bunch of Earth Elementals. 64 per stack. Let's try and rush them forward. Prayer. Bloodlust. So as long as we stay slightly out of their range, this should be okay. They are going to go for the Earth Elementals, so that's good.
Gonna see how the individual stack does first. We'll move up to the top left corner. So a second stack is probably needed, but let's keep waiting for now. Oh crap. That's a misclick. Ah, uh, okay. Well, they're gonna die. Unless it's three spell points, and I think we're gonna be fine. <laughs> I'm not losing. Not having any more minor slip ups of that sort. These are now extremely buffed. 33 kills if they go in for the attack. Let's get ourselves towards the corner. So, zero losses from being hit by 14 of them, that's a good sign. Two losses to being hit by a full stack. Do have the fire shield kicking in a lot. We are going to be completely surrounded, but stack is doing extremely well. Um, we could go for some hit and runs. Give ourselves the option. Okay, counter strike, that's a great one to have. Go for a strong stack. I don't want to give them frenzy, so I'm going to start buffing these instead. Okay, I gave those frenzy, but that's fine, we're going to hit and run with those. Fire shield. And we've used up all our spells. So with counter strike kicking in, we should thin them out pretty quickly. Still got 40 left. So yeah, this one stack should be enough to get the job done. Okay, so 13 kills if we're going for this. Let me pull back. So the Counter-Strike does still last, and we've pretty much won this fight. This is going to give us some good XP, which is a slight step up, considering we have no good units. Well, we do still have the stack of 15 next, but obviously this is not the best situation. Okay, so there are still 21 there, which is a little bit dangerous, so I'm going to wait. There we go. So no actual losses, we go to level 20, we get a bunch of resources for that. 3000 gold, which is not really that much. Um, Liches, I'm guessing, would not join us. I'm gonna go for Visions. In the mood for a fight, in the mood for a fight. Um, so just the one green dragon on Darkstorm. There is a spell scroll there. But 79 Liches, that's not really a nice fight, we're not as strong as we were. Do need to be a bit careful. Uh, going back to this town. Don't think we really gain too much. We can go for the upgraded homestead. We can go for the treasury, and we do still get... We do still get 2,000 back. 2,000 out of 5,000. Plus whatever else we can get this turn. We are going to spend 1,000 here. But we go to this. Okay, crap. Ruined our morale. Seer's hut. Uh, can we afford to get back if we go for that? Not really sure. What I could do... Just give them the fastest units possible. Go up to this. We should be pretty safe. Okay, so we claim this, we go to this, there's nothing there, which is surprising. Grab this gold, grab the ore. There's also the Ring of Infinite Gems we should go for. Yeah, I think... Now that we know this guy has just the one green dragon, he shouldn't attack this town. So... We're gonna resist upgraded dragon cliffs, we're gonna go for treasury instead. It's not gonna pay for itself yet, but I think over the course of the game it will, if we keep this town safe. Okay, so Andal's next to move. Let's go for... a bit more gold. Some ore. And... Of course, there's more gold for us to pick up just here. So, we want to pick up as much gold as possible before the end of the week. So that's 5,000 gold there, that's great. Or 
Orb of the Firmament. If we can get that to use Soulmate, that's going to give him a massive power increase. Okay, so that just leaves Eovatius. Eovatius has to decide where to go next, so I think probably we go in this direction, we cross over to all of this stuff. 39 Zealots. 30 Master Gremlins will join us. What else can we see? 5 Arch Devils for 22,000. 6,000 for 30 Hellhounds. I'd love to recruit the Master Genies. That would make up for what's happened. I didn't realize Visions works this far away. So we can see everything. I'm guessing these won't join us. Ah, those, those are actually too far. Okay, fine. So yeah, Eovatius, I think if we go to the south, there's not really too much to gain. Much more to gain if we go back in this direction. Then we really have done everything. So we end the turn there. So Tan is a nuisance, but not actually a threat to us. Green, hopefully just a scout. That green hero leaves. Darkstorm's gonna leave. So after losing most of our units, we do at least have... Do at least have a break, or do we? What is that? Wow. That's generous. That's extremely generous, and it's just in time because Orin has arrived, and Orin is the strongest purple hero, um, and has multiple crystal dragons. Unfortunately, Galthran is quite far away, although we could still get him there. But Eovatius, of course, is far stronger at this point. Okay, 100 to 249 Grand Elves. We do have 200 spell points, so maybe with enough elementals we could win this. Let's have a look at this. So... There's a lot available. Okay, so Sormir is going to go to this. We should have enough for this, so it's plus 8 to our defense, that's great. Then we go in this direction, and we want to get the units back. So Adela passes over the units. So Omer goes in this direction, can he get to a boat? Yes he can. Okay, so Adela goes for this, we get 6 extra Mercury. We can also go for some unit upgrades if we want to. But no, we should be fine for that stuff. Uh, I think we go in this direction just for the sake of the Warehouse of Gold. We are very slow now. I think it will take a white. So Hourglass of the Evil Hour probably worth passing across. Okay, so Galthran... Galthran takes the units. So some of this stuff needs to be upgraded. We can pass across the Power Liches. We'll take the Castle units. Bring these two together. Take the Ghost Dragons. Walking Dead, not really too urgent. Although 12 Whites, not really too important. Probably better off taking the Walking Dead, although the Diamond Golems could help against Orin, whose appearance is not too welcome. Okay, well that's obviously going to be a problem, but I think we have done enough for this part, so do join me in the next part. Sorry to end on a cliffhanger, but it does keep the people watching, so it is what it is. If you join me in part 5, we will be dealing with Orin one way or another. And, of course, we will be continuing to build up our towns. And hopefully getting ourselves a bit of safety to really start specialising our heroes. That is all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in part 5.